Bonjour, Kinemage Nene, Ireland and Dejikas, and welcome to today's math lesson. Our topic today, Chapter 2, Lesson 2, Hands-On Prime Factorization Patterns. Let's begin the lesson with our essential question. What strategies can be used to multiply whole numbers? And that's what we're looking at throughout this entire chapter. We will begin this lesson with the lesson two packet, which is labeled with page 87, because it will be page 87 in your My Math Volume 1 student edition. And we're going to start at step one. It says fold a piece of paper in half and make one whole punch. I'm going to fold it. There's my one. I got a pen because I do not have a hole punch at handy. I open it up, and how many holes do you think there will be? If you said niche or two, you are correct. One, two. So let's put this on our paper, and I will go to my annotation tools, and I'll use text. Two holes. What's the prime factorization? Well, just two. There are no other numbers here. So fill that in, and then let's move on. I'm going to clear my drawings. And close that. We'll skip past the, that slide. We're going to get another piece of paper. Make sure you recycle any of these if you're following along. So I'm going to fold it twice. Fold it. One. There's the two, and I'm gonna make a hole punch. A little more difficult with my pen. And let's unfold and see how many holes are there. Basic, niche, this way, niwin. So four holes. And let's get my annotation tool out for that. Use a text. Four of them. And how do I get four? I can multiply two times two. Again, recycle. Make a paper airplane with air conditioning. Just don't throw it right in the garbage. All right, so if you could write that in. We're gonna go one more after I clear my drawings. Hold it three times. One, two, and three. Hopefully my pen will survive this. Um, if not, then I'm going to be very unhappy because I'm going to have ink. And it's actually kind of difficult. I think I broke my pen. Let's see. How many do you think there will be? Because when we had, let's get the annotation tool to give you a sense of suspense. We knew that when there was one fold, there was two holes. That prime factorization was a two. When we had two folds, there were four holes, not a seven, four holes. And that was two times two. How many do you think there will be? Let's see if you're right. Open it up. We have Beijing, Niche, Niswe, Niwin. Nine in the good west way, neutral way, neutral way. We have eight holes. So let's put in the eight here. And our prime factorization of that is two times two times two. So go ahead and fill that in, and I'll be right with you in a second. So, what pattern do you see with our numbers? Well, we notice that with each fold, we went from two to four, to eight, it was doubling. We were multiplying the previous factors by two. So we went from two to two times two to two times two times two, and we would keep on going with that. So the number of factors in each prime factorization is the same as the number of folds. Three folds, three factors in this case. So let's continue on. And I am not going to keep murdering my papers here. So let's 
let's look at our numbers. We know that in four hope folds, there are going to be four factors. So what do you think should go there? Two times two times two times what? Let's get our annotation tool so I can fill this in here. So I'm going to have two. Well, there are four folds. So I need four numbers there. And if I, I know that eight times two is 16. Notice there's a pattern here. We're doubling two, four, because two times two is four. Four times two is eight. Eight times two is 16. So what do you think the next one will be? Sure, 16 times two is 32. And if I was writing this in here, five folds, so I need five twos. To at the bottom here. This is actually the top of page 88. Let's talk about this chart real quick. Which prime number did you record in each prime factorization? Remember, prime numbers are numbers that are only divisible by one in themselves. If you said anything other than two, I'm curious of where that number came from. But of course, it's going to be two because that's the only digit I see here in the prime factorization. Two, two times two, two times two times two, and so forth. All right, how many holes will you make if you fold the paper eight times? I could keep the pattern. Five folds was 32. Six folds would be 64. Double it again. Seven folds would be 128. Double it again. Eight folds, 256. Please don't use a pen to try that. You will probably break your pen. How can I check that I have the factorization correct? Well, I could multiply because we knew early on that the number of folds told you how many digits are in your prime factorization. I could do two times two, eight times two to the eighth and get 256. Let's try some practice ones. So I'm going to close this here, get rid of my drawings. I'm going to move past a couple slides because you guys have already seen it and we've talked about it. <laughs> what I want you to do is if you have access to a paper and a hole punch to complete the table, start by folding a piece of paper in half and making three holes. Use a new, new piece of paper each time you increase the number of folds. If you don't have paper available, don't worry. Imagine it, and we'll talk about it here in a second. But go ahead and fill out this chart, pause the video when I tell you to, and after you're done, come back and let's see how you did. Welcome back. Let's see what we have here. So we had two times three, two factors in the fold here. Now we have two times two times three, because there were two folds. Now we have two times two times two times three to get to 24. And if you notice that we just keep adding an additional factor of two. So it ends up looking like a pyramid here. If your numbers are different, go ahead and fix that up. If you need to pause the video to do such, you can. Otherwise, let's move on to the next one. We have another one. We're starting at two times five, two times two times five. What do you think would be next? Go ahead and take your best shot at it. Pause the video and come back when you're done. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. Just as you suspected, we kept adding another factor of two. So we kept doubling our number for went from 10 to 20, which is 10 times two, 20 to 40, 20 times two, 40 to 80, which is 40 times two, 80 to 160, which is 80 times two. This is all done by pattern. Patterns are very, 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 did I say very, uh, very important to math. You start seeing the patterns, things will get a lot easier with any of your mathematical endeavors. Let's try one more. We have here 
one fold had 14 holes, which is two times seven. So I stuck, I folded it and I stuck seven holes in it. Then there were two folds. So I had to fold it a second time and then stuck seven holes in it. And I got two times two times seven. And let's see if you can complete the chart. As soon as I tell you to, I'd like you to pause the video, fill out the chart, unpause the video and come back and let's see how you did. You may pause the video now. Welcome back. Let's see how you did. You kept act, adding another factor of two. You did a good job. We kept on doubling the numbers until we got to 224. Let's go a little bit further here. I'm gonna skip one. And let's look at applying this. Use the information below to solve exercises eight to 11. There's one skill cell, you, skin cell used in a science lab. Each day the skin cell will split into two cells. The next day the cell then splits into two cells again. So we one day, two cells, two to four, three to eight. After several splits, there are 64 cells. How many days? And then at number nine, how many skin cells will there be after eight days have passed? Number 10, how many days would need to pass before there were over 2,000 cells? And 11, make a plan after 15 days, there were 32,768 cells. After how many days were there 16,384 cells? Go ahead and finish those four questions by pausing the video and I'll see you on the other side. You may pause now. Welcome back, let's see how you did. First we see that it was the very next day and you should have seen that pattern. Two times two is four, four times two is eight, eight times two is 16, 16 times two is 32, and 32 times two is 64, which was on day six. Day seven, we would double that to 128, day eight to 256. If this reminds you of the original one that we did in the build it section, these are the numbers we're dealing with, the exact same thing. Okay, we'll have the same problem here, number 10. It would take us 11 days to get over 2,000 cells, and it'd be 14 days. And how did I know that without stopping and making this big old chart? Well, 15 days, there was 32,000 cells and 768. I knew I was doubling, and I know that 16,000 rounded is half of 32,000. So I knew that this was the day before, so 14 days. All right, the next part of this class will be to go into the My Math homework. You can either do it in your packet on paper and make sure it comes back to me on our next Wednesday transition, or um, you may drop it in the red box with the rest of your assignments, or you can do it within the Google Classroom. I will have these images cut and paste there. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me at mirlinitsychchipschool.net or see me during one of our live Zooms or office hours. So without further ado, I'm going to wish you all a minogishigat and mama pee.